Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Oh, did you guys see that? I'm going to put it out. I'm going to put it out. Because as soon as, as I split my deck, it like came out and it fell out in the reverse. So I'm going to put it out. That's a sign from source. Uh, Let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading, honey. I am sending you all lots of love and joy and many, many blessings to you all and your families as always. Okay? I pray that you stay on it in the whitest and purest of light, the highest of vibration or energy. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in again on the purest of white light. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but you all know what I'm trying to say. Okay? I love you all. If no one has told you that they love you today, I love you. Okay? I'm sending you lots of positive energy. Lots and lots of it because, honey, I'm abundant in it. Thank the heavens. Thanks. Thank you to my ancestors. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Honey, someone is not able to come in and gaslight you and play with you. You are too powerful. I repeat, someone is not able to come in and gaslight you because you are too powerful. Okay? You're too strong. You're too abundant. You're too classy. You're a classic girl. You're a classic man right you're out here thinking i'm a classic man right so honey the fight the fight has been fighting your enemies have been determined to destroy you your ancestors have been determined to protect you and avenge you you may have someone behind the scenes advocating for you now you've been advocating for yourself as far as standing your ground taking charge of your life Taking charge of your destiny, moving forward, not giving the two hits, not giving two hits about what people are doing because you know what's about to happen. You know your future. You know your calling. You are on the right direction. You've taken charge of your life. Okay. You're going to be receiving some type of good news about an opportunity, some type of truth, clarity, all kinds of stuff. Right. And someone is living in fear of this. Someone does not want this to happen. Somebody does not want this to happen. Someone was determined to defeat you. Could it be a queen of wands behind the scene? That's living in fear because the skills are being balanced out. They need to be balanced out. Listen, we're about to be upgrading this channel. We're going to be adding other forms of definitions and stuff. Yeah, she's been causing a lot of illusions and things like that. But I want you all to know, we are upgrading the channel. I'm adding new forms of definition, dominoes, rune, runes, and all kinds of stuff. So come back and watch. Be sure to subscribe. If they let you subscribe, my channel is being tampered with. It's okay. I'm not here for the numbers and stuff. I'm going to land where I'm supposed to because that's already been shown to me. I know exactly where I'm going in life. So all of this mess they're doing behind the scenes to mess with my numbers, thank you for the educational lessons. But my destiny has already been shown to me. I know where I'm going. Anyways, hey there, hey haters. Anyways, subscribers, <laughs> genuine subscribers, Soul Tribe members, welcome back to the platform. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for your support. All uh, the illusions, I'm telling you, we see you from a distance. We already know you all are causing illusions and things like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get back into this reading. It's a disappointment for your enemies, and then they are finding this out. They may be starting to understand how this is going to play out, okay? It's always disappointments for them. They've tried to disappoint you, but honey, the source is that I don't think so. I made a decision, and I told you it's final. You need to leave this person alone. Okay, someone's been trying to bully some of you, but you're standing your ground. You are being protected. Someone is advocating for you behind the scenes, right? Or your ancestors are just not playing about you. Either way, you're going to be okay. Okay? Yeah, you're out here talking about, I'm a classic, man. Hey, yes, you are indeed. It's a wonderful day when you can defeat your enemies without having to scoop low to their level. Mm-hmm. When you can defeat the enemy without having to be nasty like them. You don't have to destroy them. You don't have to smear their character. Well, they they do that by themselves. Hello. You don't, they, they be helping you. They don't know it. Yeah, it's a wonderful day when you, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, when you can win a battle without having to destroy anyone. And that's something beautiful. 
Okay. Anyways, look at that abundance ahead of you. All of the work you've done and the Most High is rewarding you. The Most High is an upright boss. Very fair. Stands for justice. He said, oh yeah, I know you put in the hours. I'm gonna pay you just like I promised. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we don't play with wages around here. We don't play with people's money. Yeah, we, we know. That's the number one rule. You don't play with nobody's money. So I say, I'm not here to play with your wages. You do the work, I paid you, okay? It's about merit. You do the work, I pay you. So whoever was coming in to gaslight you, they can't do that. Play with your emotions and things like that. They can't do that. You're too powerful. You're too alert. You're in charge of yourself. You're a master. You've mastered yourself. Every th everything they know, they know about you, everything they knew about you, they have to throw out the window. It's like, okay, this is a whole new person. <sighs> we got to figure out how we can trick them. Then you're finding out there's no way to trick you. So they got to come in genuine. They may not even want to come in because it's too embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. For like this, it's embarrassing for people to find out they've been trying to destroy you for no reason. Greed. You haven't done anything to them. They've been trying to block your future for no reason. No reason at all. Okay. No reason. No reason at all. And source, so source, has, source has been sitting back. Yeah. Greed. You're you're freaking abundant as heck. They're that one person should not be this abundant. One person should not have all this wealth. We deserve it more than they do. This man can't have all this abundance. This woman cannot have all this abundance. We deserve it. You deserve it for what? What did you do to deserve it? Don't worry, we'll wait. What did you do to deserve it? You're out here uh, rude, disrespectful, bitter, broken, unwilling to heal, unwilling to just be kind, nothing. You did nothing. That We were waiting. You you weren't going to give any answers that we were going to accept. So we're giving you the answers. You didn't do nothing to deserve it. You didn't grow. You didn't ascend. You didn't do nothing. And it's coming out again, collective. Look at that. This is your future. Oh, my God. Some of you are about to be so abundant in life. So blessed. So favor. God is good. Ooh, and elevated. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Dang. And this is what they've been trying to block. The Most High is giving you a C. And you're about to nurture that C and turn it into this. Dang, a legacy. You are leaving an entire legacy behind you when you leave this realm. And it's going to be in your generation, your bloodline for all of time. No one can keep this from you. You've pulled in the work. Your ancestors, when this battle started, they told you, just keep going. Just keep taking action. Focus on us. Focus on your healing. And you did that. Even though you were hurting, even though you were tired. Because collective, y'all know we be tired. <laughs> we be tired. Is that source? I don't know if I can do it anymore. It's getting too hard. So keep going. You know that we day yes, uh movie line. That's us. <laughs> we're going through our growth and our, and our ascension. Are we there yet? And Source said, no, keep going. We're almost there. And when Source said, we're almost there, you know he's talking in spiritual time, but you're talking about earth time. And in his time, it's probably like 10 minutes, but in your time, it's probably like 10 years. <laughs> you like... And you're saying, what do you mean we're almost there? It's been like five years. It's been 10 years, Source. Are we not there yet? We're finally here. Everything is ready. You are ready. You are ready for everything Source has promised you. So no one can come in and fix it with you. No one can come in and, and play with you. No one can come in and gaslight like you. No time for thick friends, thick lovers. They're all being kept out of your energy. You are officially ready for your destiny. You are officially ready for your calling, your purpose. You are healed completely at this level. The amount of healing you needed, you have it at this level. Why do I say that? Because as humans, we always have something that we need to heal from. 
the healing is never complete. It's, a, it's always a work in progress. But you have progressed to a level that, 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 that uh, 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 legitimizes you. People are out here in the world. They think success is having a billion dollars in their bank account, who they know, you know, how many companies they have, how many cars they have, houses that that's not. Uh -uh. In this lean, the spiritual lean, this is what matters. This is what matters. Healing, fulfillment, pouring into yourself, into others, living a genuine life, forgiving, right? What is this? Beginning of prosperity, abundance, new relationship, opportunities, fortune, love, joy, health, spirituality, creativity, positive, potential, intuition. Those are the things that matter in spirituality. The abundance in wealth is nice, but that should never be your priority. And so the people that are vain, that's where they will oftentimes attack us. They'll go after our resources. They'll try to hinder our resources, our incomes and things like that. Opportunities for us. If you want to go and get a different job, they'll hinder that. You go to a company company, and you have a promotion that come up, they'll hinder that because they think they're blocking your future. Your future as a light worker, it never has to do with how much money you're going to make in your life. It never has to do. It always has to do with you what? healing and helping other people you pouring into yourself and pouring into others when you pour into yourself that means what you have a balanced relationship with source you pour into source and source pours into you oh yes oh yes the relationship with source is a two-way street you pour into source as in you show gratification you show appreciation and you show love to source and then source said hello here you go yes and they start pouring into you and he says she says it says why i pour into you into your cup i will hold you up your cup will overflow and i'm going to hold you up as it overflows and people are going to see that there is nothing they can do to take you down. i'm going to make sure they hit you from the bottom of your soul but i don't care <laughs> and what source is doing that is a smirk on Source's face. You know why there's a smirk on their face? Because when your enemies were trying to take you down, they had a smirk on their faces too. You know, when they were planning your downfall, telling people how they were going to destroy you, block your future opportunities, and they're going through endings. They're going to block your futures, right? Block your opportunities. They were saying it with confidence. They were saying it with a smirk on their faces. And so when when Source is blessing you, Source, you best believe Source has a smirk on its face and said, like, mm -hmm, I did that, I did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, 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 look at my collective. Look, fabulous, healing, transitioning to new levels, elevating. Have you seen my collective today? This is Source to the karmic. When, <laughs> when Source prepares a table before your enemies and elevate you before your enemies, Sources there being petty, like, have you seen my collective today? Look, 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 just turn to the right. Yeah, 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 right there. Ooh, there goes my collective. Elevating. I'm telling you, there goes my collective. Right? And that's what they don't want to see. They said, no, I don't see. They want to do all types of flips, hanging upside down, pretending that they don't see, but they know. You see that, that crown right there? They know. They can't pretend not to see it. <laughs> It's all right there. It's all right there. Listen, it's front and center, right on the screen. You don't got to look too much anywhere. It's just right there. Just stay still. Stay still. Focus, Becky. Focus right in front of you. Yeah. You don't need to be looking left, right, up, down. Just look straight forward, Becky. The collective is right there. You've invested into your future, into your healing. It was absolutely the right choice for you to make. And Source is returning a favor to you. Source says you have represented me justly. You have shown me gratification. You have stayed committed. You elevated, honey. Some of you started as the page, the page of pentacles and you made it up to these levels. The magician the high priestess, 
Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Just elevating. You invested your time, your energy. Oh my gosh, you invested. And now they get to watch you. You they get to watch you ascend. They get to watch you ascend. There's a prophecy. There's a few prophecies that came through. There's another prophecy that's about to come through. Okay? There's a prophecy that's about to be fulfilled. I'm telling you, oh yeah. Someone did not invest in you when they were supposed to. Someone did not invest in you when they were supposed to, and they are about to regret it. They were supposed to come in and give you something a long, long time ago, and they chose not to. A long, long time ago, was this an emperor? Oh, yeah, he was supposed to. Mm, I said a long, long time ago, and it was a long, long time ago. He was supposed to work with you, invest in you, and he chose not to. So you kept going. You said, well, I got this little, whatever it was, time, effort, hopes, dreams. I have a little bit of hope, so I'm going to use it, and you invested that. They block your abundance. They block your opportunities, your return on investment, and you still took the little bit that you had to manifest your new life. They said, we're going to cause you a stalemate. We're going to keep causing stagnations and blockages. We're going to keep uh, blinding people about who you are and keep trying to hide you. And you said, go ahead and do what you want to do. This little bit that I'm investing is going to be very abundant. I already know. Because Source does not make false promises to uh, his people. Yeah, and now they're trapped in their minds. Someone may be locked up and someone wants to send you a message. I don't have nothing to do with you. That don't have nothing to do with you. Someone is absolutely caught up in the legal system. That don't got nothing to do with you. At all, at all. They made their beds. Let them lay in it. I'm telling you, listen, you invested into yourself. You took charge of your life while these people were trying to end a lot of you. You say, you know what? It's okay. I'm still going to be focusing on my past. I'm still staying committed. Okay? You have people partnering up together. Partnering up together. Couples. New couples were forming every day. Trying to take you down. They didn't have to be romantically. Uh, they didn't have to be romantically together. Just, you know, Bunny and Clyde kind of mind say, you do this to her, I do this to her. You do this to him, I do this to him. You do this today, I'll do this tomorrow. Taking turns. Taking turns. Yeah. And you heal through it all. You master yourself. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Hey, look at this. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Some of you have been through journeys that people don't even understand. That's why they don't understand why they could not take you down. Because your whole life has prepared you for this day. I'm telling you, your whole life has prepared you for this experience. And that's what they don't know. Honey, if I told you guys half of my life story, it is ridiculous. I should not be here today, but I'm here. If there's anything you're going to... Find out when you come to my channel, you're going to learn some type of life lesson. And it's, it's to help you grow. It is to help you grow. Every time you come to my channel, and make sure you come back, it's to help you grow. You will learn something. Because I've been through it all. Trust me. Okay? I have been through it all. And I have people behind the scenes that have been trying to destroy me for a couple of years now and they thought I didn't know. And that's why I celebrate when I see things like this for you all. Because I already know I'm not the only one that's been through this mess. This lets me know, oh yeah, you're going places. This is why these people are coming after you. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> if you weren't going places, if you didn't matter, they wouldn't be coming after you. So I want you all to remember that. If you weren't going places, if you didn't matter, if you didn't have a calling on your on your life, they wouldn't be bothering you because what's the purpose? You don't have energy for them to take. You don't have abundance to your name for them to take. You don't have protection for them to, to uh, desire. They don't have protection. You have everything. 
So you have a calling on your life. So it's just not going to let you come here with no protection, knowing that you're supposed to be influential, changing the world, okay? Knowing that you're supposed to be influential, you're going to be making changes in the world, traveling around the world, some of you, right? To help people because you've had a lot of experiences like myself here that are going to help other people see things differently because there are people in the world that are trapped in their minds. Other people are holding them hostage, bondage. They're not free to be. They're not free to think. Thinking is not free for them. It's not common sense for them because someone has trapped their minds. They're living in a prison cell within themselves. And they don't understand they are free. They're always free to be themselves. No one has authority to manifest their destiny. They can manifest their own destinies. And they just need to take their power back. Okay? It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Listen, just a little bit about something I've experienced. And listen, honey, your enemies, they're burdened. This is what's up, up ahead of them. They want you to be burdened. Like I said, I've had a, peop a few people a couple of years now trying to come for me. They had a whole plan. <laughs> a whole plan. <laughs> They've been planning it meticulously. And I've been watching from afar. And my ancestors have been watching from afar. They said, okay, you've got a dream that one day you're going to destroy our child. Not in this time. Not in this lifetime or any other lifetime. And I've been sitting back. And there's someone in this group that does not understand why everything they've done are the deceit. Everything they've done. And I'm saying, telling this story because someone is going through this story. A lot of you are going through this. They don't understand why everything they've done hasn't stopped you. You're still growing in life. You're still healing. You're still moving forward. Nothing seems to be working on you. As a matter of fact, every step they take, you grow. Every blockage they put in your path, you grow. So you are what? Transmuting the energy. They sent you negative energy and you transmute it to positive energy. And it's turning into something very abundant for you. Growth. Okay? There's someone in, one, in, in my karmic community, you know, the ones that's, that have come together. Let's get together and destroy this African girl. Let's come together and destroy this African girl. She's naive. She doesn't know what is going on. Okay? She's an idiot. She's an idiot. Little do they know this African girl is a dreamer. So her ancestors, they show her the truth. They say, your enemies are coming. I say, I know. Let them come. I know. Let them come. Let them come because I know what's ahead of them. Anyways, let me quit playing. Listen, the reason, and I know some of them watch me, the reason you all cannot destroy me is that I don't have attachments to anything or anyone but myself and my children. If I have a million dollars today, uh-huh, and someone comes and steals it, honey, I'm not losing sleep over that. Because you know what? I'm abundant. It's going to be replaced. I already know that in divine timing and while it's being replaced the time in between i'm covered the most high has me covered i'm not coming to you to beg you for nothing because that's against my my contract with the most high i'm not supposed to be a beggar yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so with the collective there are people sitting behind the scenes waiting for you to call them to beg them for help they've been waiting for so long it's causing a fuss among them these people are fighting behind the scenes collective these people are fighting behind the scenes and it's not going to get any better i'm telling you it's not getting any better it's not getting any better these are people that thought they were better than a lot of you because you are not superficial and vain you didn't walk out pretending to be something you're not. The material things don't matter to you. You're happy and content in life. Whether you have finances, you don't have finances, you're, you're content in life. <laughs> you're content. 
And they don't understand that because this, these are people that have applied their worth to the amount of material things that they have. Someone is burdened behind the scenes. I don't know if they went and found themselves a new high priestess and she's burdened because whatever she's doing is not working and it's not going to work. Yeah, it's not working. She's not getting the results that she wants. You're still talking. You're you're still talking. You're still walking, waking up every day. You're still walking outside. That you're still living your life. She said, this is not what I was asking for. And sources that we don't care what you were asking for. You took a wrong turn and came after one of your own, another high priestess. So we don't care what you're asking for. As a matter of fact, we're returning it to you. This cup here that you don't want, we're returning it to you. Oh, baby, it's a Tawa. It's a Tawa. And it's justice. They're returning it to, to returning it to you. Okay? And she's alert. She said, when is this tower coming? Let me cleanse myself and take some cleansing baths so I can minimize the effect. You can't minimize the effect, darling. It is coming full force. It is coming full force. Oh, baby. It's going to be attached to you like the devil and his servants. You see that chain right there? Oh, your karma is attached to you. Ain't no way. Oh, it ain't no way. There ain't no way. Mm. It's attached to you. You cannot get away from it. It is yours and yours alone. I'm telling you, it's attached to you. She's going through something behind the scenes. Either this is a new high priestess or someone that's like a second to best, second to the first, the second best choice. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. They said if this masculine is gonna come towards her, we're gonna try to end him. And they're going through an ending. Oh they presented someone with a choice. They said you can either go and apologize to this first scene, six things, or you can go out in the cold. Well, a sister is so bitter, she's gonna take her chances out in the cold, get into the dark. Gonna go do more rituals like the rituals have been working or something. Ooh, she's losing everything. Dang, going from wish fulfillment, luxury to this. Oh, that ego is big, big. That ego is large, 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 large. Yeah, you don't win and manifest it. Took charge of your life, master yourself, and manifested yourself a new beginning, a business. You're business minded. Dang, you went from the page of pentacles to the queen of pen. Oh, baby, I love you. Where do you stay? I, I had needed a, a little favor from you, my sister. I had needed a little favor from you. I have a question. It's for my friend. Do you manifest for other people? Listen, the decision is final. Some of me want to ask for your forgiveness. You're out here just going through a rebirth. Every day you wake up brand new, they don't know what to do with themselves. They say, okay, this worked yesterday. It's not going to work today. What's going to work today? We don't know. So they're just throwing everything in the in the pot, the boiling pot of spells. <laughs> and they're just staring. They're just, they're staring. And they say, fee, fee, five, four. What will we get out of this pot today to throw at the collective? What will we get to throw at the collective today? No, you can throw whatever you want, but the collective is good. You can throw whatever you want. You, you know the three still? Oh, yes, honey. The collective is good, good. The future of the collective is bright, bright. Good, good. Dang, sister. Who are you? Can you manifest for me? That's okay, sister. I'm just kidding. I have the ability to manifest my own reality. So. This is beautiful. Your ancestors are supporting you. Honey, this is beautiful. You manifested your own ten of pentacles here. Ooh -wee. And your ancestors are rejoicing. Yes. They are rejoicing on your behalf. It said, yes. You know how our African uh, ancestors be? My my European brother, brothers and sisters, Mexicans, I don't know what your ancestors do. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm sure we all do the same thing. I'm just saying African because, you know, you know, they get together around the fire, beat their drums and everything. They're doing that now for you. Okay, and I'm sure my uh, Caucasians, brothers and sisters, your ancestors are doing the same thing for you. Latinas, your ancestors, everybody, your ancestors is celebrating you. Ain't no exclusion over here. This is the CD on this platform. This platform is the CT. Everybody counts. Dang, everybody. The judgment is final. You are in declared to go. Honey, you spoke the truth. You're the queen of swords, got your pool, your swords pulled out at a narcissist. Still trying to find ways on how to defeat you. It ain't no defeat, darling. It ain't no defeat. The collective is good, good. The dreams are protected. What is this car under here? I'm telling you. Our collective done healed and move on, and they're uh, ascending in life. Dreams protected, and you're out here trying to manifest an ending for them, causing illusions. Uh-uh. Nah. -uh. You can't pay anyone anymore, and you feel regret and embarrassed for paying people to cause heartbreak for this collective. But it is all of you going through the heartbreak because collective is still secure, being elevated by their ancestors. Abundance, more abundance. Look at that victory coming in quick. And our collective members of the Soul Tribe are about to be traveling around the world, new destinations. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. They don't even see this coming. Are you guys, are you all still doing more rituals on moon goddesses and gods? Are you really? Are you still doing rituals, moon rituals on moon goddesses and gods? It's not going to work. They're receiving commitment. Oh, baby. Mm. You see that right there? Is that an emperor? Is that an emperor? Mm. What is that? Fulfillment? Yes. Oh, I just up to, 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 to look at that. Look at that. Anyways, our ancestors are celebrating us. We did marvelous. Marvelous, darling. Oh, this these two people, the partners in crime, they're going through an ending. They are going through an ending together. Bunny and Clyde. Fly want to move on to a new family. Bunny said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm-mm. I need your help. We got to keep going. Clyde said, uh-uh, honey. You know we can't do nothing to this person. Clyde said, mm-mm, mm-mm, Bunny. Mm-mm. Bunny, we're working against ourselves. I'm tired. Clyde said he's tired. Bonnie is too bruised and broken to know right from wrong, to care about right from wrong. So she want to keep going. Bonnie done lost everything. Bonnie done lost everything. And she's miserable as heck behind the scenes trying to hold on to the little bit she got. But Bonnie don't have two senses to know to stop moving forward as far as coming to destroy the collective. Bonnie don't know. Bonnie needs to take a new path in life. But Bonnie is stuck on stupid. Here she goes. Bunny done depleted her finances trying to come after you. Look at that, trying to come after you. Oh, Bunny. Bunny, what is wrong with you? Whenever will you learn? Come on for oh Bunny. You refused to learn, did you? And Sora said, okay, I'll teach you. you. You're gonna learn, learn this time. Is that another tower you're going through, Bunny? Bunny, is that another tower? Have you lost partners? Did your partners in crime decide they don't want to be part of this nonsense anymore and you're still trying to keep it going? Mm. Okay. Let's see. Mm. And you're uncertain about the, the path you're on. You may want to move on, Bunny. Move on. Yeah. Move on, Bunny. I'm telling you, whoever you were working with, he don't want to work with you no more. He's experienced too much loss. Too much loss. Mm. Dang. She don't went to his house talking, but she want to be family again. He said, mm-mm. No, 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 no. Bonnie done broke the whole family apart. Yeah, he's taking his commitment somewhere else. He said, nah, I'm committed to my healing, Bunny. I want to heal. I want to heal. Bunny, I want to hear. Bunny, it's time. We got to change that story about us, how ruthless we were, okay? 
We got to change that. I want to heal and build a family. Leave a legacy too, Bunny. I'm seeing things different now. I'm seeing things different now. Okay. Oh, yeah. A brother is going through an ascension. He's seeing things differently. He said, look, look at here. So you mean to tell me, all I got to do is leave this person alone? Okay. Try to right my wrongs and I can ascend too? Yeah, 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 Clyde, yeah. Just because it said bunny and Clyde don't mean you got to be with her. You can go find yourself a new bunny. Oh, Clyde said, I'm out of here. Clyde said, I want to be abundant. I want to be influential. I want to be affluent too. Ooh. Listen, Clyde wants to be affluent. Clyde has dreams of owning his own business and things like that. Being successful in business. Building a legacy. Having a happy family, happy home, no toxicity, no more yelling, no toxic love. Oh, yeah, Clyde Clyde is going through a healing, honey. He's awakening. Bonnie said, no, 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 Clyde, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, go back to sleep. Clyde said, honey, I've been sleeping for so long, I'm tired. My ancestors said, it's time for me to get up. It's time for me to wake up. I'm up. I am here. I don't, I'm not sleepy, Bunny. That's what he said. Yeah, and she said, I don't want to hear it. You need to go back to sleep. Bunny, Bunny, he ain't going back to sleep. Bunny, Clyde has been asleep for a long time, and he's ready to be up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Clyde said, I'm here. I'm awake, Bunny. It's not even nighttime yet. I'm not sleepy. I'm not sleepy, Bunny. I'm not sleepy. I'm not sleepy, Bunny. I'm not sleepy. Yeah, he's too busy. <laughs> Bunny said, Class, I'm too busy. There's too much to do. Oh, I don't have enough hours in the day to do the amount of work I have to do now, Bunny. You've been holding me back. Oh. Clyde don't free himself from Bunny. And now he knows he has limitless opportunities, blessings, possibilities. Oh, Bunny has been blocking Clyde's future all these years. And Clyde just found out he's, he has unlimited potential. He said, you want to tell me this whole time I was in charge of my own life, not Bunny? Yes, Clyde, yes. And the choices you're making now is going to lead to abundance for you. Endless possibility. You see, what was that that I just saw? That infinite, infinity symbol? Oh, yeah. Endless opportunities and blessings for you, Clyde. Leave Bunny behind. Bunny, Bunny is a lost cause. Bunny is a lost cause. Bunny was worse than Clyde in that story. People don't know that she was worse than him. She was worse than him. You know the story of Bunny and Clyde? Oh, yeah. She was worse than him. You know, they downplay her because she's a female. But no, 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 no. Oh, no. She was she was more of a nightmare than Clyde was. I remember I read about that story, watched a few documentaries on it. I said, oh, this is some toxic love. She got him wrapped around her finger. That woman is crazy. Yeah, Clyde don't freed himself from Bonnie. Clyde has freed himself. He said, oh, what is this feeling? I don't want it to end. I must have more of it. And then you have Bunny in the far distance talking about Clyde. Clyde. What is that sound that I hear? It has a familiar ring to it, but I do not want to participate. I will act, but it is not there. I will continue to move forward. Look at this. Clyde's about to go for a deep dive. <laughs> I know my ancestors be pissed. Not pissed off, just looking at me like, really, girl? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, he's about to go for a deep dive. And he's about to be out here speaking his truth. Got his sword pulled out at Bunny. Bunny said, What is this? This is different. You never pulled your sword out at me before, Clyde. He said, Well, that was then. This is now. Step back, Bunny. I'm free now. I is free now, Bunny, and I love being free. <laughs> We're done. 
We are done. Dun dun. It's a dun dun. The dun dun. dun. It's a dun dun. Hey, Clyde is awakening. Oh, Clyde is going through a healing. Man. Damn. I'm telling you, Clyde don't want to. This collaboration is over. Clyde does not want to collaborate with this woman no more. He said, I'm done. I am done. She's being excommunicated out of a community. She is being excommunicated out of a community, removed, let go. Someone is about to be discharged because the, the hate, there's something this woman did that is unforgivable and she refuses to see her wrong in what she has done. And this is why her time with these people is done. Someone was working a very, like a high position in a company, very high ranking. Or this could just be someone's wife that was well off, someone's mother that was well off. Yeah, she's tired. She is tired. She don't want to talk to no one. She don't want to be seen. Probably not even returning people phone calls. Dang, yeah, she's going through some type of ending. Dang, you know, swords hit that woman where it hurts in the pocket. But he let her. Source let her do it. <laughs> source said, source said, I might be. Source said, I'm not even gonna do anything to you. I'ma just let you do you. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do you. And she kept paying and paying and paying and paying. And she looked, oh, I don't have any more money. Oh. Yeah, don't say. Source is sitting back watching her like, oh, really? You don't have any more money? You think I blessed you with all of that money so you can go use it recklessly to block other people's future? People fighting hard to bring balance in, into their life and you're causing heartbreak and uh, uh, disappointments. You think that's why I gave you money? Okay. You've been stealing from people for a long time and I've been giving you chances to do right. And you got carried away. You thought you were above the law right okay yeah this community is rejecting someone she is overburdened dang dang i'm telling you someone is in isolation may not be answering her phone calls text messages emails before this situation took place this would have been the first person sending people emails early in the morning they want to make sure their email is the first one you see cancel the earth angel do not forget. Make sure you perfect your uh, signature today. Do not forget. <laughs> and now this is her. She's lost her motivation. She has lost her motivation. I'm telling you, it's there's something going on between a group of friends or a community of people. There is this harmony in a community because something has been exposed about a queen of pentacles. Maybe going through poverty, being excommunicated by an institution because she went too far. I think she was warned to stop doing something. She was warned to stop doing something, to put an end to something she was doing, but she refused to. And now there's this harmony here because of her. Ooh, dang. You know how in Friday they were like, dang. Yeah, that's 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 the energy right now. Oh, poor little thing thing. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and get back into our read. That was enough mercy we showed for 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 a little bit there. That was enough uh, uh, remorse. It's not our place. Anyways. Anyways. Oh. Oh. Dang. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's being relieved of her duties. Dang. Yeah. Oh. She's been released of her duties. Somebody's been released of their duties. They're putting an end to working with this woman. This whole family dynamic, whatever this is, they're putting an end to working with her or their, this community is dismantled. This COVID, whatever this is, is dismantled. Some, there could be like a divorce going on, a lot of backstabbing. They've been trying to end you, paying people to come and end you, on a live you. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not your calling. This is your calling. <laughs> Being solid, stern, fit, firm. You are secure. The universe wants you to know that. 
okay you are secure dang look at you sitting there looking all majestic i don't take bs from anyone you know how those royalties be the right ones just looking majestic sitting there say i know what you've been up to but i will not address you becky that is below me that's beneath me becky i will let source handle you high priestesses don't even be, uh, behave that way they just see you taking actions and they're just like okay honey so this is what you're into okay yeah you are secure you're being protected you are being protected from the plans of these people this is what they were planning for you but this is what they're going through endings betrayals backstabbing each other and they didn't see this coming they did not see this coming there's a uh this king of pentacles was never meant to work with these people but he did and they're all going through endings together all for one and one for all okay and there you go sailing into the sunset i don't know if you're on a horse a chariot a mercedes a porch whatever you're you're on or in sailing on to karma waters new alliances a new community of soul tribe members how you doing how you doing when you get there they're all happy to see you like you all have known each other for ages wish you had wish you have on a spiritual level they see you and they're just happy to see you. They say, oh, well, they're just like me. Hi, guys. Everybody is just happy. And nobody knows why you all are happy, but you know why you're happy. You've reconnected. You and your soul group in the spirit realm have connected in the physical. That's what's going on. That's why there's so much happiness. On a human level, you don't understand that. But on a spiritual level, you understand what's going on. They say, hey, look at us. We reunited in the physical. How you doing? Right? And all the mixtures of different personalities mingling together beautifully. Yeah, that's what the that's what a soul tribe is. Whenever you connect with your soul tribes in the physical, that's because you all are connected in the spirit. We all have a soul tribe group, a soul group in the spirit. You know how in high school, not just in high school, elementary, middle, high school. And some people, they're blessed enough. They'll meet their soul tribes in elementary school and they'll all stay together throughout of life, all of life. That's why you see people sometimes, they say, we've been best friends since we were in kindergarten. Yes, they're best friends here and best friends in the spirit realm. Like my two kids, the two older ones, they're in the same soul group. They've incarnated together for many lifetimes. And they, incar they always incarnate either as best friends or siblings beautiful thing beautiful and her hip uh my middle child the second oldest one and she sits down and she tells me sometimes how she, the both of them were reckless in past lives <laughs> so i said oh really <laughs> she said yeah we used to get in a lot of trouble and she said i remember after one of my past lifetimes i went back after i passed away i went back into the spirit realm and i was just too tired so I just went to sleep for a long time and my angels came to wake me up to tell me that um, it was time for me to try again. I told them I didn't want to come here. And she said they kept encouraging me to come back and I eventually just gave up and said, yeah, I'll go try it. But I didn't want to come here. I said, girl, we're all in the same boat. We don't want to come here. But me, you know, I'm kind of a little bit up there, up, up, up there. So I don't really have much of a choice. I mean, I have a choice, but you know, we have people to heal. We have people to teach how to manage their emotions. That's why some of us, when we incarnate, we have to go through all of the process of learning how to manage our emotions. So when you get to the point where you're gonna be teaching people how to manage their emotions, it's imperative that you've, been, that you've been through that experience. So when they ask you, hey, how did you overcome anxiety? You're able to tell them exactly how you overcame anxiety, not give them some type of wish-washy answer. That's not going to help them in any way, shape, or form. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very blessed to have the kids that I do because, obviously, it would be a little bit weird if they didn't understand things from a spiritual standpoint. So I taught them how. I teach them. I talk to them about all that stuff. 
the rankings in the spirit realm, how things operate. My babies know about all of that stuff. And then they have the education too from the, the earthling perspective. So they're good, they're good, good. But I just found it real funny because my middle child, she's the most well-behaved one out of the three. The most well-behaved one. And when she tells me she was, she used to misbehave and they used to like beat people up and all kinds of stuff. I'm just looking at this girl. Wow. But in this lifetime, she's like very, she's mature for her age. You know, like, look at you, girl. They must have put you with me for a reason. They say it's time for you to get it right. So we're going to put you with this nut kiss here so she can help you get it right. You say, I guess so. I guess they knew you don't play. So <laughs> you're about their life. So we know not to try. <laughs> That's what she always says. When she's talking to me about how she watched a video online and someone was being disrespectful to their mother, and she said, I already don't have to try my mom that, that way. I don't know how they get away with that stuff. I said, Girl, I don't know either, but not in this household. She said, We know, we know, <laughs> we know. It's all love, folks. I, I, I teach my kids how to be kind and respectful. I'm not like an abusive mother or anything like that, but I teach them how to be respectful, how to be kind, have a voice of their own. Not let people push them around. Just, yeah, be kind-hearted to themselves. And look at your enemies. Look at your enemies. They don't lost everything. Now they're trapped. Trapped in their mind. They say, I don't know what to do. No one wants to talk to me. Everyone's rejecting me. I don't feel like talking to anyone. I've, I, I've strayed so far away from the castle. Because in the Eight of Swords, there's a castle behind this woman. And she's been walking blindly. And she don't walk into a hot mess. And she feels stuck out in the cold, but all she has to do is free herself. Oh, yeah. Free herself. She has the power to free herself, but she's refusing to. She's not seeing clearly because she's dealing with a lot of inner traumas, a lot of messiness going on on the inside. And she's not willing to deal with those. She's not focused. Her mind is all over the place. Ask me how I know because I used to be trapped in my mind. And people took advantage of that. So I've learned how to get out of my mind. Oh, you want to play tricks? I'll play a better one on you if I choose to entertain you. But nah, who has time for that? This woman is holding herself hostage. She's a prisoner within herself. Okay, there's a difference between these two. This, you are the one holding yourself in this kind of prison, in this condition. Okay, you are the one. You see, there's no one around her, right? No one. And there's no one around him, but I'll get to him. I'll explain to you why it is someone that put him in this state. There is no one holding this woman where she is. She got here on her own. Okay? This is symbolic of the mental prison that we impose on ourselves. When we try to uh, uh, match up to the expectations of the world, try to uh, uh, prove ourselves, we, have, we hold ourselves in prison. We want to make other people happy. We want people to see us in a specific light. Okay, we want people to think like we are, uh, I don't know, higher than thou, holier than thou or something. We feel like we're unfit for the world. We don't want to be rejected, so we get involved in things that we should not be involved in. You're holding yourself hostage. People tell us, oh, you shouldn't do that, that's weird. Like me, right? I'm weird, and I love that. I'm in charge of my own destiny, so thank you for calling me weird. Yeah, you're holding yourself here. This, this mindset, this is you holding you here. No one is controlling this. All you have to do is stick the blindfold up. This is not even on you tight. Okay? So all you have to do is stick this off. And what are you? Free to remove the, uh, the blindfold off of your eyes. And you'll see there's a castle right behind you. So you don't have to be out in the cold, freezing, or dirty and stuff. Because she's, you see the castle here, the top of the castle, what are red. 
Red has to do with loyalty. Red, yellow, purple, those are royal colors. She's in red, so this is someone of royalty. So if only, maybe she strayed from the, from, the, from the castle, let's say that. She strayed from the castle and she got caught up in something. Let's say that happened. And they left her there alone. So she doesn't realize that she's alone. All she has to do is take this stuff off, remove the, bond, uh, blind from, the blindfold from her eyes, turn around, and what is there? A castle. Now you're out of the cold, back home, in the warmth, by the fire, drinking hot cocoa. Right? Okay, okay, that, that's her. That's her. Let's do him. Let's do him. What is the story behind the Ten of Swords? The Ten of Swords is a karmic car, learning a lesson the hard way. What do I mean by that? This man here, he received advice from a false hierophant, a false priest. So someone led him astray. Before he was led astray, he was told, he was guided by his intuition that something was not right. So he needed to investigate. Did he investigate? No. He went along with what he was told by the false hierophant. Someone deceived him. Someone betrayed him. Let me see if I can find the hierophant card. We're going through Tarot 101. Excuse me why I find my hierophant card. Because you're about to see the symbol in here. You're going to see the sim symbology. Thank you. If you get the Ten of Swords card, this man's hand is making the same gesture as this Hierophant. What he's telling people when they find him dead is that he was betrayed. He was deceived by a false Hierophant. So this was someone pretending to be in the upright and they ill advised him and whatever advice they give him, they set him up basically to be on a lie. That's what that is. So someone put him in this predicament, but he had a, a role to play in it. He had a way to prevent himself from getting into this situation. Now the eight of swords, maybe she was just walking and what someone caught her, binding her up or something, blah, 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 blah but she can get herself out of there. She's alive. He's done. There ain't no coming back, metaphorically. Okay? So that's a little bit behind the story, the cards. Someone went and partnered up with the wrong people. He thought it was going to be sunshine, butterflies, and whatever it was. He thought he was getting into a happy union, whatever, just to find out that the person he was with betrayed him. They're all going through endings together. Some of me have even got him married for money. Mm, 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 mm. He may not want to make his way back to you, but you're nowhere to be found. You may have said you're not interested. Some of you rejected these people. Uh, look at that. I'm telling you. I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. Someone thought they understood what they were getting into, but they never did. Someone thought they were with friends. They should have walked away, self-actualized. This is why I advocate self-actualization on my channel, okay? Because it's something that's very imperative to our growth and ascension. You need to self-actualize. See things from a higher perspective. Stop, stop being so vain. There's someone that watches my channel and you are bothered by the things I say because I'm of the light. My light bothers that demon within you. I don't give two hits. But until you do that, this is going to be you always going through endings, stagnation, stuck in your mind, unfulfilled. And it's something you're bothered for someone, you're laughing at someone, but they know more about you than you know about them. And that's something, and I don't even know you, but your energy, you get on my channel every time. And I just be feeling it. I'm like, oh, Mr. Hateful is back. How you doing? You need to self-actualize, sir. Anyways. Someone refused to do that. They were given the opportunity to do that. They didn't. They're trapped in something they can't get out of. So you're down and out and stuck in something tra uh, tragic. You're down and out because you were led astray. You trusted liars. You trusted liars. And your intuition before you got into this partnership, whatever you want to call it, marriage, collaboration, collaboration to end someone that didn't deserve it, you knew your intuition told you the truth. He said, hey, you, you're going the wrong way. You, you're about to F up royally. Don't do this. Don't do this. 
buddy, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do it. But he didn't listen. He still went ahead and participated. And they said, okay, your intuition said, you know what, buddy, I've had about enough of you. I don't told you to stop compromising us like this uh, for money. You're getting in the wrong partnership. Anyway, buddy went ahead, got into the partnership. Now this is buddy, but he's trapped in something he can't get out of. How heartbroken because he chose the wrong partner, chose the wrong people, failed to listen to his intuition. Listen, buddy, 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 buddy. Oh, yeah. But he knew the truth the whole time. You got Bunny, Buddy out here, Bunny and Fly, all of them just coming together to take down, take down Ruth, Naomi. They said, we're going to take you down. Oh, no, 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 no. Ruth is anointed. Naomi is anointed. So, Nefertiti, she is royal. So, you're coming for the queen? Ah, uh, baby, you're a dumbass. They come. Uh, listen, that listen, listen. Now, buddy is going through stagnation. Something is going. Something is like lagging. Buddy thought he was stepping into abundance. He said, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna make a lot of money out of this. We're gonna block this earth angel. We're gonna stop this earth angel. We're gonna block these two from coming together. And I'm gonna be abundant. The queen of swords. If someone don't promise them a lot of money, they said at the end of it all." At the end of it all, we're going to have a lot of money. Where's the money? Ain't no money. Ain't no money. You didn't invest in what you were supposed to invest into, buddy. Buddy was supposed to invest into the Earth Angel, but buddy invested into the comics. And buddy don't got nothing to show for it. Okay. Don't got nothing. Mm-mm-mm. But he can't take action. But he is lustful out here. <sighs> but he is just out here lustful. Ding dong, just a swinging by. Everything he sees, he wants to be in it. But he likes you, but you don't like buddy like that. But he might be sitting behind the scenes just doing funny things. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you're up somewhere healing the world or healing yourself, growing in things. This collaboration is over. It is absolutely over. It is over now. I feel that I can make it. The storm is over now. No more crying. This. Hey, look at our collective. Collectives, when you guys come out here, don't be expecting me to be the best singer in the world. Because, honey, please, that is not one of my gifts. My gift has to do with divination and helping people heal, helping people manage their emotions and things like that. But, honey, singing? Oh, no, 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 no. I think it should be a crime for me to sing. But, honey, we all have a naughty side, so I'm going to break the law. No, I'm crying in this. Hey, they are gone. Gone away. I feel the end. Can't make it. The storm is over now. Hey, okay, people, that's enough of my marvelous production. Anyways, thank you for that marvelous introduction. Anyways, here we go. 12, 3. Okay. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich, and you are able to express your feelings and, and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I am a visionary. Hallelujah. I pray this for all of you. And I know you are because it wouldn't be coming out if you wasn't. Okay? 31.4. Oh, listen. We are just out here. <laughs> chum, 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 chum. Okay? We're out here ascending. A three. A four or five. What, what, what the heck is this? A six. A nine. Look at that. We are ascending. Okay. Growth, improvement, ele elevation, ascension. Baby, you don't go on from, from a whole three to a nine? Ah, oh, okay. Four. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is staring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. I am disciplined. 
and I'm going to cry in days. Five, flexibility is your fort. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. I am adaptable. You, you, you had better be out here being bold with it. You better be bold with it. Tell them I'm here. Right there. I'm here. They're hoping that when, 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 when source calls your name, you don't answer. Is that Maria? Have anyone seen Maria? That's what they want. No, Maria, Maria didn't know we had a meeting today. She didn't make it. Oh, no, 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 no. Source said, oh, no, Maria is here. I was just entertaining you. I was just entertaining you. I just wanted to see what you was going to say. <laughs> oh, I went and got Maria. Maria was going to make it to this meeting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maria is here. Maria, say hi to the folks for us. Hi, folks. Oh, that's when the bitterness comes out. That's when the bitterness comes out. We did everything to make sure he or she does not make this meeting. How is Maria here? Oh, because I said Maria is going to be here. I'm source. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, 555. A major shift is about to come into lower life experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. I am optimistic. You better be. You better be. Don't be out here letting people confine you, restrict your mind and all kinds of stuff. Have you living in some type of mental imprisonment like that woman that's like a few steps away from the castle? Mm, 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 and she's royal the whole time. Girl, you know you got Monty Monty. You, you, you got Monty Monty and you're out here living impoverished? Oh, no, no, no. We got to fix that, Maria. Uh-uh, Elizabeth, Victoria, we got to fix that. Mm-mm. Never Titi, girl, you got Monty Monty. You are royal. Turn around, go back to the castle. Anyways, thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs. So you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique. That you are and that I am. <laughs> and we are going to be, we're going to live fully within that uniqueness. Bold with it. Hi, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the earth angels. Yeah, we, we live in our troops. Yeah, 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 yeah. It bothers you. Thank you for letting us know. Now we have to be even more weird. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thanks for coming now. Bye, folks. See you in my next read. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.